All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the first cast of many. I guess this is just welcome then. Okay. It? If, it's, if it's the first one, okay. Welcome is welcome. probably the good the place to start. Sure. Well, welcome, guys, to yet another World Vision Give Me Shelter sponsored event. Mm. It's going to be a five week ordeal. It's going to be myself, Adam, Nathanius. Base Trade TV. Next weekend, we're gonna be cast in a professional tournament. We're gonna, we're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna be in, heavily in quotation marks casting a professional tournament. This is how it's gonna go down. All right. Jeff and Graham are going to know what's happening at any, any given moment, and I'm just gonna be here for moral support. Hey, that's cool. I'm just gonna be hashtag here for the kids. Speaking of moral support, yes, we need some money. For the kids. Uh, we don't need money. The well, kids need the money. kids need money. We need to get the money from you to give to the kids, though. But before we before we get into that, yeah, Adam, we, yeah, you got to do your... Getting, I'm ahead of... It's been ahead. a long time. It's been a hot minute. It's been a long... It's going to take us like three or four cats. Just to get back into just the Just to get back into it. All right, Mr. Maximus Black. Yeah. Hit me up with the sound of Mario getting really upset at Toad for continuously telling him that the princess is in another castle. And going to smack him in the mouth, only to find out that he's made of steel. Come on, Nathoda. What the heck is going on? Uh, smack at you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sure. sure. Amazing. Yeah. I was actually, I was, go I was going for the oops, I just broke my hand on Toad's face. But, but I, li I like that you just went for like the old Italian grandmother in the kitchen. I went for it. You went for it. I went for it. It worked. It half worked. Starting up here in the top right position, we have in Intrag, <laughs> and down here in the bottom left, we have the god himself, Toad of Steel, and yes, this is a replay from Toad of Steel, who donated a hundred dollars before the event even started. Yes. And what we're going to be doing for this event, guys, is uh, if you donate... Whether you're on the live stream or you're watching this on YouTube and the event has already happened, there is a link in the description of this video. And if you're on the stream, in the stream, when you donate, send a screenshot of how of, of, of your donation and email us at the life glitch TV at gmail.com. All information is underneath, and we will get to your game as long as it's a fifty dollar or above. We guarantee it. Normal game, cheese fail. And then there's different levels to the stuff, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, this is a PVZ, my personal favorite matchup Currently. in all of StarCraft. You know, I do enjoy PVT as well, but I'm a little biased because I've been doing some really, really skeezy stuff against Terran with, yeah. my, void with my Void Ray and my proxy... Uh, uh, shield batteries. You're big. You're big on the the proxy void ray shield battery gig against the Terrans. I am just kind of like when I was big on the Oracle against the Terrans. I just gotta shut them down early on, or I get wrecked. When it comes to the PVZ, I've just been two base all inning. I've been doing like immortal, <laughs> immortal zealot century. Yeah, it's immortal century. Yeah. I usually go immortal zealot, and then if that fails. I can go into uh, Immortal Sentry, so I just keep building Immortals behind. So that's a super gas intensive build. How do you do that off of two base? Do I you get, get one I shot? Get, I get four gases. Well, uh, but I'm going heavy zealots, right? Do you thank, so do you thank you for the mathematics on that one. I no, appreciate the uh, the assistance. It, it's actually it seems like a lot, and it is gas intensive. But when you've got four gases going, and the the vast majority of your army are zealots. You're not really spending gas well, throughout the, the whole the ordeal immortal, anyway. The immortal sentry combo. You there only is... you only really have at max three or four mortals oh, okay, at one okay. time. You so it's, it. right. yeah, so that it's not really sense. anything crazy. That makes sense. Uh, meanwhile, though, over here we got a little bit of action. We got uh, these adepts coming in. This mm. is this is part of my gameplay that I am struggling with. I'm just such a like an old school StarCraft player that a lot of the new units I don't like using. I just don't <laughs> like using them. You're I'm the, like you're the old man that doesn't want to give up all of his old technologies stuck exactly. for life. You can still have like a Betamax player. Yeah, and I and I like go to the bank and I still get those old things stamped. You know, like remember those old bank uh, uh, statement cards that they used to give you? They're like yeah, little yeah. booklets. Yeah, and yeah. you get them stamped and things. Nobody uses that anymore. No, when or, I or you just go to a bank. Period. 
That too. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, I, I feel, I feel like I'm out of place every time I go to my my branch because I'm standing in line and everyone around me is over 80? the age of five hundred. <laughs> it's just no, it's, brutal, it's and they, just... and they, and it's it's awful too because when you get there, uh, they like to just talk to the teller for like an hour. Yeah. They're there more to talk to the teller than they are to actually do any banking. Taking out pictures of their grandchildren. Yeah, inform, you know. inform them how the retirement life is going and mm. everything. Yeah, it's just the way it is. But these adepts are uh, doing, at at worst, a really good job of uh, keeping the economy on this uh, second base shut down. He hasn't killed a dramatic amount of drones yet, but they haven't been mining anything, which is really just as effective Yeah, if you've only got to use three adepts to make that happen. Yeah, I mean, the adepts are putting in some work. I mean, he is killing some uh, some probes or some drones, sorry. But also, like you said, a lot of these were just pulled completely, and that's a lot of mining time. That is not uh, not happening here for Toad of Steel. Good news for Toad of Steel. Great news, even. Six minutes, mm. and this Protoss is just getting his second base. I mean, I'm little do you know, Jeff, this is my alternate account. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. This is. I that's mean, a, that's a lie. That's a lie. If this was my alternate account, I'd be going four gate because it's the only thing that I would remember how to do after seven years of not playing. So, severe so there like you go, guys. If you're watching this on the stream and you want to donate $250 plus, you can battle Adam and you already know what he's going to go. Yep. You already got the one up. You already know. Four gate. Or not, no that, gate. not that you needed the one up on what build I was going to use to have a, a leg up at all. But we also know Adam took this day much more serious because yes. he brought his keyboard and his mouse with yes. him. Yes. So he is on. He's ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm, although now that I, after I noticed that there's so much stuff on your desktop, I don't know if my mouse is going to be any better than yours in this situation. We got my man Slayer with a fifty dollar donation oh, for the go. kids. Hashtag for the kids. He said, I can't say I have a StarCraft 2 replay to send in, but here we go. Hashtag for the kids. So mm, big shout out and a thank you to Zeon Slayer for the 50 bucks, man. You, already Zeon. already raising money for the kids. Hey, those look familiar. Those are my favorite unit in all of StarCraft. Even after they got nerfed, they're still awesome. I love them. They're uh, they're still awfully useful. I mean, oh yeah. It's just they get nerfed, but that just took them from, uh, oops, I just won eighty percent of my games to well now it's only fifty. <laughs> 65, 65, 65, 65. So yeah, I, at the very least you get the. I think the probably the best part about the unit is revelation. What, uh, revelation. Yeah. Um, there's never a bad time to have that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and and what's nice too, even in in, in uh, PVZ. Um, I've been looking up a lot of builds, and that's something I've been getting. I've been back on the StarCraft train full time again. I've noticed, and I'm loving it because I'm trying out new things uh, in in PVZ and and in uh, PVP. And one thing that I've learned here in PVZ is adepts or not adepts, sorry, oracles Ooh. are still really really useful. If you open up Stargate and you start with a with an oracle, you can put some damage on their mineral line. Um, or you can force a bunch of spore crawlers, which is which means those are drones that are putting resources into things like not that are roaches or lings or droning harder. So you can always slow them down that way. But then, as long as you're not dumb with your oracle and you keep the oracle alive, you can do exactly what this Protoss is doing, where you're using revelation here. You're setting up little points all over the map, so when they do come, they're you're cutting off you know 10, 20 units at a time, depending on how clumped they are. And it really just buys you enough time to prepare for an attack or even scare your opponent from, from attacking. Not only that, is, in my opinion, they're better than observers. I mean, observers are stationary. Sure, obviously observers have a place in the game for sure. But if you are going, if you're opening up Stargate and you have one or two oracles out and you manage to keep them alive, you can do far more uh, uh, observing than what an observer can do quicker, longer, and you've got all those extra little abilities that the Oracle has on top of that. So yeah, absolutely. I'm a, a very, big fan a of them. very versatile. It's the it's the uh, the the Protoss Raven, really. Yeah. For all intents and purposes. Yeah. Uh, except probably just better. <laughs> yeah, they're they're both good in, in their own in way. In general, yeah, but sure. good in their own in their own way. There he is. Got finally got rid uh, of the burrowed unit there to uh, free up his third, which mm -hmm. is painfully late. Yep. 
Uh, and really, uh, if Toad of Steel wanted to, after that engagement there, uh, where most of his units were stasis, and he won anyway, and it forced the, the Protoss back, he could have just been off to the races. Which is now doing, and, uh, <laughs> unfortunately for the Protoss, if he does choose to go now, his third isn't done yet, and this would be a fantastic time for, uh, for Toad to show up on his doorstep. It would be a good time. Those, those hot fire mixtapes gotta drop, though, and they gotta hit fire. Rel relatively... Bang on. I mean, this is starting to look like a scary uh, composition. I will say this. As a Protoss player, you've got a lot going on here. You've got to put your Oracles on one hotkey. You've got to put your Sentries on one hotkey. you got to make sure your Zealots are in the front line. And just judging by the fact that he got a six-minute second base, he's probably all on one hotkey and not... He's just likely going to A move. So, yeah, this army could do a lot of damage. Well... It can seriously do this damage army now. Can now. Now do a lot more damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. This this base is dead. Yeah, this he's, is going. Uh, he's he's going to have a hard time doing anything about this, especially since he didn't have any vision of Toad coming uh, sooner. Yeah, and now he's stuck on this awkward ramp. Uh, Toad's given him space to walk in, though. Yeah. So there you go. He's respecting the Protoss ball uh, and backing up. Uh, and why not? I mean, at this point, probably what would have been a not bad idea, uh, a bad idea would be just sit, sit outside there, pick away at those rocks. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, the only thing that the Protoss can do is step out into that choke to stop you from opening the, uh, the choke further. Yeah. Uh, and he's just going to block it up with yeah. a bunch of stuff anyway, so why not get rid of them? I agree. Getting rid of those rocks is absolutely a must, especially since there are some sentries there. You can cut off that in half. He's got a nice stasis ward there. Uh, that will likely uh you know dissipate over before by the time he gets back over but it, it was a good little reaction there uh to have for a protoss player uh while we're waiting here guys let's get some donations going yeah. for the kids and you want to know where your money's going it's going to help children in need in war stricken areas it's going to be helping with shelter obviously mm. food yes yeah, education them. Mm. Uh, Sprinkle them with knowledge. It's going to be helping with some groundwork there for the people that are, you know, involved, making making magic happen. It also helps put together programs and stuff for uh, for the physically uh, uh, abused and uh, allows for safe spaces for children to play and and uh, and again programs to uh, to to help those that have been uh, affected by all manner of yep. bad things that we don't necessarily uh, have to put up with. On a daily basis. Nope. It's good stuff. Well, one thing that oh, uh, this almost. Protoss is going to have to put up with is a lot of Zerg here. He's put a Nidus down there, which has taken the entire attention of his army. We He's didn't even notice it because we were talking about everything for the kids. Hey, kids are important. Oh, the base is gone, so that's the majority of it there. The st wow. stasis units. Beautiful. That stasis nice. really put in a lot of work here. Yes, he needs to get these these units in position. He's he only be... attacking with three sentries. Yeah, he's the... literally <laughs> tickling them, and it's it's somehow working. It's those zealots happening. are putting in some work. Yeah. He still doesn't have any charge yet for those zealots. But, uh, man, he could have wiped. wiped everything. He could have yeah, wiped 90% sure. of this army. That was a really good, and that's another reason why getting rid of those rocks probably would have been good there. When you've, when you've already been stasis once before, you know it's likely to happen again. They're mm. looking to use it. Uh, and uh, that's just a really easy place for it to happen. He actually got a little bit lucky there, Toad did, because the first round of force fields uh, didn't hit exactly yeah. where they needed to, and it allowed Toad to get basically what survived that fight. Out of the back door. Yeah, he managed to kill that third, which is great. He had, uh, you know, a, a Nidus there. I'm not sure what he was trying to do with that. I think it, he was trying to pull the Protoss uh, well, that army was, up in a way so that he could kill the base. Genius. Yeah. Genius. And it worked. It's, hey, you know ten what? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It worked big time. And uh, I'm sure he's going to do it again because he's got overlords in just about every side position that the Protoss can't get at unless he's got air. He's now going over here at the fourth. He's going to get a cancel. Going to get rid of these three pylons. Still a scary looking army here for the Protoss player. And once again, he's got all these in one hotkey. So those three oracles are going to go down. The force fields are getting blotched a little bit. That's a lot of immortals there That's pumping in some immortals. serious damage. Wow. Only plus one in upgrades opposed to the Zerg's 2-2. Two, two. So that's going to really play a huge factor a little bit later on. But Toad of Steel forced to retreat there. Uh, but at the same time, our Protoss player lost a fair amount of his army, lost the three oracles, and those oracles could have kept an eye on this army, kept producing those stasis wards all over the place, and just had general uh, scouting 
but now they're gone. And yeah. unfortunately for our Perdos player, he's just getting his third back up. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we're on, what, four base? Yeah. Zerg could probably go and get five, maybe even six at this point. I don't think the Protoss can move out and do a whole lot. Well, no, uh, you know, Toad has basically controlled the map uh, since that last attack that Protoss had there uh, towards the choke of, I think it was at Toad's third. Mm -hmm. uh, and after that, he hasn't been able to do much. He's now trying to get some work done and pushing back. Uh, to have some map control by uh, getting the Phoenix out there and chasing off the Overlords, but this is the first time that uh, that uh, Eindrag has been able to actually move out and do anything yeah. that wasn't reactive. He's he's getting a chance now to be a bit proactive, move the creep back, and uh, attempt to get some good position here. Again, though, the rocks are in play, yeah. and those three spine crawlers, as silly as it sounds, oh my goodness! Oh, he's tripping oh balls! Oh my gosh! Look he's at that! He's tripping balls! That Do is it. a lot of. Oh my god! The changelings wow. are in health position, and oh, the units no, in the it. back can't do anything oh. about it. Oh! This is yes. this is brilliant. Yes! <laughs> Look at this! He's pushing them back. Oh. He's forced to recall Let's retreat. Go. That was actually <laughs> give me shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, he even called it out. Wow. Wow, this is now going to be the Gimme Shelter build. Let's go. Yo, these zealots were just sheltering all those units. They oh couldn't do my anything. Goodness. That was some 200 IQ right there. Wow. 10 out of 10. Wow. I liked it. Toad of Steel, man. Toad's bringing the heat Toad. first thing of the day. It's all downhill from here. We yeah. just, just, you can't. Toad is playing with his opponent, just playing with him. I was wondering why there are so many overseers. It's like, what is he doing? Yeah, we had a we had a gimme shelter uh, like Nova War says thing last year, didn't we? I think so. And I like I I think Toad actually did that. Oh well, there you go. Well, there it is. I I don't remember because we've done so many. It's of these been things. yeah yeah. Toad's saying it in chat right now. It's been it's been a while. it's been a while. It's been a while. It but has. yes, I thought I thought that was uh that, that was a a familiar tactic, but it worked. Yeah. Again. Well, it it got me by surprise. So yeah, it worked. It worked again. That Perfect. was that was great. One ninety nine supply to one nineteen. Right now, Toad is playing with his food. He is just toying with them. Even at this point, and this is this is the part where I find myself a lot in PVZ when I'm about to lose. Is listen, I've tried to do an all in. Uh, maybe I've gotten a third. My third is late because I've done an all in. It's failed, and it doesn't matter how many immortals. How many Colossus I can try and muster up. I'm just so far behind that there's just no way I can win. And that's where we're at now. Oh, he's doing it again. This, the Zerg is in such a huge lead. Look, he's got more. He's doing it again. <laughs> more of these changelings Let's go. running in. And at this point, he's not even going to know. There's so many of them. If that, if I was a Protoss player, I'd be like, oh, let me grab my Zealots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what do you, yeah. Look at that! Look, and now they're still stuck in there. He should just be moving <laughs> them around. He should be moving them around with him. He's got it on uh, hold position. Yeah, that's the that's the only bad thing about holding position. It's easy to tell which ones are real and which ones aren't. Yeah, you want to be able to follow. The yeah, you just want to like right click and... on on a few different units on some of them. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously this oh, it's is all, it's all good. Toad could a move right now absolutely, and win. Absolutely, even with Decis all these colossus, decisively. Yeah, he, he could just get a concave on them, and and the, uh, hydralis DPS is insane. is insane. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. Now, if he could still lose, but it's gonna require beautiful force fields and Toad of Steel just not giving an F and just just moving forward and nonetheless. Just not caring and just sort of a moving into death. That's really the only way I can see him potentially losing this. I'm, su I'm surprised we haven't seen a couple of disruptors or something coming out of the the proton. Yeah, I mean disruptors are are good units just, in this just situation. One or two at yeah. this point in the game when you're a bit behind yep. and you know that the the zerg is going to be coming in waves. Yep. And he and he only just got rid of the rocks for the first time. You have some choke points around mm -hmm. your base. Why not have one or two? Yeah, no, uh, I, to I, try and cut down the army. I do agree, and normally I wouldn't, but just because of Tota Steel's army composition, he doesn't have a lot of Zerglings. Disruptors have been changed a great deal since maybe the last time. How many you've balls seen it. does it take to take out the Hydra? Two? Oh, it's just one. Oh, is it just one? It's just one, but okay. now they'll pop automatically the moment it touches somebody. Ah, so if there's that's a lot links, harder to pull off. Oh, then. it's infinitely harder. Here it is. Well, that was about the only place that Toad didn't want to engage in that Protoss, and it happened. Yeah, I mean, he just, like I said, he didn't really give an F. 
and he ran into uh, an area where it, he puts himself in a weird tunnel. There's force fields available, and he just kind of, you know, he wasted toad, all of his toad, units. Toad, if you didn't send in all that money, I would have dropped a you fool right there. But I'm going to hold back just for you, buddy. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hold back. How does Toad of Steel win this uh, now? For the kids. Does he lose? Does he lose this game? Not possible. It's not possible. I, I refuse. Well, it's it's very. It's also looking very possible uh, right that, now. But oh, there's no, a lot of there's go. a lot of units. This could be this could be close. Oh man, he's so undecisive. He's taken uh, so many volleys from these colossi. Oh, so many Hydra aren't doing anything yeah. in the back. It's They're okay. I think there. he's I think he's gonna survive yeah, he's this. Gonna he's it. gonna start focusing down on these colossus. He's gonna get rid of them. Uh, a little bit late of a oh, recall. And this is this is the upgrades, man. This is the upgrades. That's the difference that the upgrades make there, and it's also the difference when the Protoss doesn't have a uh, terrific choke point. Yeah. In which to utilize, uh, he didn't have nearly. He had like twice as much room that he had to uh, to work with against that DPS of the of the Zerg there. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a lot different for him that time around. And as you can see, the Hydra, pretty good unit. Hydras are great. Hydras are awesome, but um, like I was saying about the disruptor, yes, the yeah. uh, the the disruptor is still good, but it's situational now. Before the disruptor was just good, you could just you could you know do the little I don't just even know toss what, it you in could there just toss the ball in and you know time it so that it blows up after so many seconds. Yeah. Now, as soon as you toss that ball out, if there's even a ling in its vicinity, it'll blow up. Oh, so that's okay. why it's tough that. For unit compositions like this, it's great. But when there's a bunch of lings, they'll run a few lings up. Yeah, first. It, it acts as a shield. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're you're killing off. It, they're just not cost effective, especially in the higher leagues and leagues like this. You know, you can get off those big wow moments, but later on, it's not yeah, good. It's a lot. It's a lot harder to yeah. To, and to it's pull off. it's also much harder too to kill lurkers with them now as well because lurkers are usually in behind everything. Yeah, um, and they also take more hits to kill. They them, do. Don't they? You like need multiple hits. Yeah, you need two hits. Yeah. So it's not uh, it's not the easiest thing. But this army, this is over. It's yeah. one ninety six supply to eighty one. Yep. This is a maxed out zerg. That's that's just called math. Yep. Jeff, that's uh, <laughs> that's just flat out math. Yeah. Uh, is he's gonna win by by math alone? He's got some uh, he's got some archons, but that's <laughs> two plus two is four minus one. That's three quick maths. Everyday man's in the block. Ha! Huh. Smoke trees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, Toad of Steel is quite literally playing. Yeah, he's playing. He's playing around now. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, I have a question for you. What's that? What can our fine people get for the money that they donate? Well, besides that warm, tingly feeling, knowing that you're, mm. you know, really making not a even difference. Not Christmas yet, and you're getting that, that warm feeling inside. And not only of that tax receipt mm. that you're going to be getting, because you're going to pay the government money anyway. Absolutely. You may as well offset those you costs. You may as well get some of it back. For a good cause. But besides those, if you donate $50 or more. Oh, that's game right there. You just rage quit. Didn't even need to... Look at that. He just he just said, bye, it's over, I'm he done. He did the math. It just took him longer. It wasn't quick <laughs> math. It was slow <laughs> math. Slow math. Slow math. <laughs> uh, but here, let me show you guys real quick on this screen. Uh, so, this is how it's done. For mm. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's not too late. You can still donate right now. Yes. Adam and I are getting together again yep. for another event. So, if you're donating and we're not live, it's okay. Send your replays to life's a glitch TV at gmail.com. Link is, or the address is right there. Along with your screenshot. That's a $250 donation. Oh, it's a postal panda with a $250 donation. Oh, my goodness. Yo, all right. I'm going to give some thank yous here in just a second. Let me finish my thought. If you donate, mm. take a screenshot of it mm. and then send in a replay. Yep. Right? Could be a cheese fail. Could be a uh, a Nova War says idea. Yep. But there are rules to this, right? So if it's a five dollar minimum, you can still send in a replay, and there's a chance that we will cash your game. We'll we'll take games from you know the the people that can't afford to throw an entire wallet at the screen. We get yep. it. We get it. There's nothing wrong with that, but we still want to give you guys a chance to have some shine. Absolutely. If it's fifty dollars, it's a guaranteed cast. Yep. Just like what Toda Steel did here, he did a hundred bucks. It's it's, a gar it's it's guaranteed cast it's happening. Actually, you know what? At the hundred dollars, Jeff, it's a guaranteed repally. Yes, that too. <laughs> for for everybody <laughs> that keeps reminding us that there is a typo, it yes, it's a guaranteed repally. Yes. So go ahead and uh, and send that in. Two hundred fifty bucks, 
you can fight this guy in a game of StarCraft. Oh, but that really ends up meaning is you can spend five to seven minutes of your life mercilessly slaughtering me on the battlefield. <laughs> It'll be awesome. Or <laughs> if you want to be a little competitive, you can battle me. And on top of that, mm. I'll give you the option on what race you want me to play. There you so go. So if you don't want to, say if you're like a diamond or a platinum player and you don't want me to play Protoss, I can play Terran or Mama Zerk, Bouse's okay? new favorite subscriber. I don't know why that's popping up, but I'll I don't even that know out. how it is. Neither do I. <laughs> um, and then there's a, a the hundred and fifty dollar one. That is where you can play me, or you can do a Nova War says or your replay. So there's all kinds of different things. But remember to take a screenshot of your donation on the landing page. Link is in the description of this video and on the stream. Um, and then we know it's you, and we'll get to you one way or another. Let's give some shout outs and some thank yous. During that cast, we made over $300. Let's go. Just on that cast. Let's go. And I haven't even refreshed this this page over here. It was a good cast to get the money in because there was some good, it hasn't even hit this page yet. No. So uh, we got a $50 donation from Slayer. Mm. We got EGGZ, mm. five bucks. Mm. He said, uh, love you guys. Love that you guys are back. And we've got Postal Panda, the god himself. $250 for the kids. He said, no repally, but a classic Nova War says, and he wants me to go the Dragon Cleavage Oh, uh, you can't beat that build. Can't That's beat a good, it. It's a good build. So we're definitely going to have that. That's going to be the first cast, guys. Another big shout-out and thank you to everybody that's donating already. And once again, if we hit $10,000 goal from, from start to the end of all these campaigns, Adam and I are going to do another season of When Cheese Fails. It's going to happen. Yep. An official season. Not no cold cast. No. A real deal. Mm. Steel. Hopefully whatever gets sent in makes it a good season. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. We'll do it either way. We'll do it either way. And we'll do our best, but yes. we'll make it happen. A lot of it depends on how good those replays are. <laughs> so what I what I said before, even if you don't care about the kids, which would make you a terrible person. That would make you a terrible person. Maybe you care about when she's fails and the money's going towards the kids anyway, so donate now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.